There's some great news, guys. I have some important information to share with you guys if you haven't heard of it yet. The iOS 10.1.1 pieces to the jailbreak are officially out in the wild, okay? I don't want to get into the details on what you have to do. Me, myself, can't even take advantage of this because I don't know how to put this together myself. If I did, trust me, I would. Uh, but we may have a candidate, someone who may be doing this for us. And we'll talk about that here in a few seconds. But first, I want to give you guys the most important information and things I think you need to know. So... First thing is first, make sure that if you want to jailbreak, you downgrade to iOS 10.1.1 right now. In the video description down below, I have my video tutorial that's going to show you how to downgrade your device from iOS 10.2 to 10.1.1. Why 10.1.1? Well, because all these pieces that are out there right now to compose this jailbreak work on 10.1.1, not 10.2. So you must downgrade if you want to jailbreak. I have my device here, this one here, let me go ahead and show you. I have this one running iOS 10.1.1, right there it is. That is the software you need to be running on your device if you want to jailbreak. Number two, 32-bit devices are out of the question. Okay, those are not going to be receiving a jailbreak. I don't believe they will. Don't put your hopes up. Only 64-bit devices will most likely receive this jailbreak. Now, if the jailbreak is put together by the person who I'm going to talk about right now, Luca Tedesco, which tweeted out, there's a high chance that I will take on whatever Project Zero drops and write a full jailbreak on top of it. Stay on 10.1.1, especially on iPhone 7. Okay, so this gentleman is the one that's worked with Pangu in the past and helped contribute to jailbreak. So he didn't state that he was going to be releasing a jailbreak, but it damn sure sounds like it because he's building a jailbreak on top of whatever is out there right now, the pieces that I just talked about. Now, he also tweeted that it is very unlikely that he will be able to fix everything up before signing window closed, but in 24 hours, I will try to confirm it. What I took from this tweet is that he's going to try to put a jailbreak together before the iOS 10.1.1 window closes. As we know, or may not know, uh, some of you may or may not know that Apple gives you a small window of opportunity to upgrade or downgrade your device to a certain software. So 10.1.1 and 10.2 right now can be restored to okay but you only have a limited amount of time that's up to apple nobody really knows but before the end of this week that window could be closing so that's what i take from this tweet it is going to be very unlikely that he can fix everything up before the signing window is closed but he will continue uh, to inform users within 24 hours or people that follow him within 24 hours so stay on 10.1.1 if you're there downgrade if you're updated to 10.2, downgrade to 10.1.1. Now, those devices who are jailbroken on 9.3.3 or below, what do you do? That is the toughest question here because you already have a jailbreak, but iOS 10 jailbreak is going to be absolutely awesome. So you may want to update to 10.1.1 in hopes of a jailbreak, but then you're losing your jailbreak in hopes for this gentleman to put something together for us. So that's just a risk you're going to take. I don't want to tell you to do it or not. That's just something you're going to have to think about yourself. I'm going to go ahead and restore my jailbroken iPhone 6 Plus on 9.3.3. I'm going to upgrade it today to 10.1.1. Because, uh, just a quick note, to downgrade or upgrade is the same method as in the video that I have in the description down below. Even though it is a downgrade tutorial, you can use it to upgrade or downgrade just as long as the software is being signed at the moment. And hopefully uh, you guys uh, will understand what I mean by watching that video. So make sure you check the video down below. And last but not least, when will this jailbreak be released if it's going to be released? Well, to be honest, I don't know. Nobody knows. I, I certainly don't know. If I did, of course, I'll be telling you, but no one really knows. Let's hope for a jailbreak here in the next week or two at the max. I'm hoping for before Christmas we should have a jailbreak, hopefully, on 10.1.1. That about brings it into this video, guys. I just wanted to share this information with you guys. I hope you guys found it helpful. And like always, don't forget to stay tuned. Much more videos coming your way. It's been Night Device Help, and I will catch you guys really soon. Peace.